Hi, my name's Elizabeth. And I'm Justin. And this is Late Night Review. Tonight we're going to be reviewing Best TV News Bloopers of the Decade. With 32 million and a half views. Washington Lowlands. DD Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man Goo Doo. Can you demonstrate for us what it's like to brush our teeth pet just a little bit? <laughs> Certainly. It's well, going to be areas certainly. of drist and mizzle. Uh, drist and what am I saying here? Mist and drizzle. I literally combined both. Here's some other great town names. Litits. <laughs> it's Litits. <laughs> it's Litits. It's confirming the brand. been joined by a beautiful lady. It's a man, actually, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept peeing it. I'm ducking and everything. Died in the house. I'm. I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Let's get excited about that 69. I mean, yeah. that's pretty good this time of year, isn't it? I I know you're excited about the wind, but no, no, I want that 69. Over the last two years, hundreds have landed in the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office. My brother used to break in our house and steal the TV. But now he's dead. We'll probably sit around and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That's where that I wonder. Remember that man at the bank when I was like that yeah, old man. Yeah, yeah. He was like they're asking him how he's doing. He was like, like fat, fat and sassy. sassy. Yeah, that must have been where he got it. <laughs> I wonder if he happened to see that broadcast, huh? Or that's something people say wherever that lady Could was from. Could be his wife. I don't know. Fat and sassy. Maybe that's, just, that's it. A slight chance of some particip participation. Participate. Per. Per. It's rain. <laughs> a possibility of some like rain that, that will be moving into our area. Um, did you grab anything when you walked out the door? I grabbed nothing but two Tortino's pizza out of the refrigerator and my doggy, and we left. That's it. I, I tried to grab some other things, but they wasn't even worth it. The photos? That pizza's pretty good. <laughs> That's the inside scoop there. It's okay. okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know each other? They do. No, hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. I am. 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 That's okay. Poor alligator. <laughs> um, and he didn't bite. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And you spell first the mask? F-I-R-S-T-L-A-S-T. <laughs> <laughs> I met your best and last name. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sign says that it's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. So if my math is correct, <laughs> that's not an hour. That's not an hour, not an but hour. it is. <laughs> and also... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. Time once again to get you caught up on your news headlines. For that, the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. I'll let it pass. No, I won't. I'll get you later. <laughs> then spottings of a cougar. And that's not it. That looks like a house cat. Uh, but we're just feet away from where a local a large man cat spotted. A cell phone video on what some say is a cougar. I'll be right back with it's a, it's a sleep. Look at him. He's sight. just like the cat's just like. <laughs> It's like right back, and that's not it. That's a house cat. Oh, the best part is, you know, the guy that comes in and goes, oh, "Let me buy lunch today." You know, those guys. Yeah, are those, those, let me, let me get. Right, it. I got okay. it. It's a two ninety nine burger. I'll buy lunch. But, okay, well, I don't mean to interrupt, yeah. but is, can I try one of these? Courtney, I would love to see my meat in your mouth. So I've got a burger ready to go <laughs> for not the you. First time I've heard that. Wow. Damn. He doesn't know which way to go. I love it. <laughs> BBC seems to do this somewhat often. Really? Yeah. That doesn't look like BBC. Oh, it is BBC. Hello and welcome. Also on Chef was Constance Landry. She says she's lived here her entire life, almost 80 years, been through just about everything. I'm 80 years old. Just about. I'm sorry, Miss Constance. 76 to be exact. 75. 75. Are you coming back to New Orleans and New Orleans East? Is an elephant heavy? I'm coming back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the roads in Susquehanna County have people effed up, uh, fed up. So 
sorry, PennDOT <laughs> held a forum tonight for residents to explain what's next. Fox 56's Victoria Halicard joins us live in Montrose to explain how much longer drivers have to wait. Victoria. Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pants Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? I saw it and I couldn't warn you, Eric. I'm just so... About 175,000 rice and slow cookers are being recalled. Check your oh, pants. goodness. We should check our machine. Hazards. <laughs> Police was trying to do a stop point. The man said no, not today. And they began to race behind each other like cats and dogs. And the police car just twist around like a tornado girl. And the Lord just shook it up and the man just got injured. His head went to one side and his body went to the other side. And girl, he hit the pole. I was actually going to buy me a piece of um burger from Burger King. A piece and of I burger. just stopped right in the middle because my hunger just went away. As the RJC <laughs> says, you give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day. You teach him to, f to fish. You give him, you give him, and uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ask her, maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about, um... We're not gonna be canoodling. Ah! Oh, I thought canoodle meant chat. <laughs> what does it mean? I never heard the word. Oh. The they, ask her your they use it. And Mean Girls. Do they? Yeah. How do, in what context? The principal's like, they were seen canoodling at the oh. party. I don't know. Now we're going to have to find out I'm just not is. sure anyone should be using that term anymore. <laughs> There's a producer in my ear. I would have I would have carried that on and on. You know what? You just made the blooper reel. Good oh, job, Andrew. Well, well, take it away. Get me off camera. Oh, this is too much fun. Candle out the pumpkin. I thought I'd smell some. Burning. I thought something was smoking. Did you see the smoke coming up? Yeah, just, just now. Well, no, because it, we're it's resting on some paper. Mm. And so I didn't want the little tea light to overheat. And then all of a sudden we've got breaking news here at the channel. I told you if the sprinkler systems come well, I'm done for the day. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> that is not. Sitting up here looking like not, a mop. Yeah, you don't, you don't want sprinkler <laughs> system and a beautiful weave because they do not go. Ah! Oh! Oh, you're beautiful. You said it was a weed, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Is he not supposed to say that? I don't know. I caught up with Chelsea and Michael who were jogging by and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. It's incredible though, just to see even people still on their bicycles. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they do it with the bikes. Like That's... braking, at least we can control, you know, at worst case, we can just slide right through a stop sign. We've seen a lot of people oh, out goodness. here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops. Oh. Oh. That could happen, backwards. unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? <laughs> yes, okay. I'm going to have to jump into the water, actually. I'm going to be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, let's give you all a good luck. Adam's inconsolable there. Just look before you get in a swim pool in the future, okay? I hope you can still hear me. I'm going to have to get rather close and mind the set. <laughs> can you continue, Sarah? We want to talk about your guy. You don't want to talk about me falling in the water. <laughs> so everyone's all the people watching here are literally on the floor. And cats. They're not usually known. But one feline in northern Virginia is hitting the water and spitting the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old yeah. cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. <laughs> from her owner in weekly oh. visits to the old town pet resort. Poor cat. Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. It looks traumatized, but it looks like it needs a little bit of, you know, a little, a little toughness in life. Look at that thing. It was just in a big jacket. It's fine. Driver, he looks like he's just watching. <laughs> <laughs> he takes off. He's like, well, oh, sure. Well, why wouldn't he stop to watch, you know? 
Anytime, hey, uh, Jake, That's Jake fun. is our, uh, our producer upstairs and, um, that was fun, Jake. Josh is our director. Anytime you guys want to re a man's wang swang <laughs> and just roll that, like literally, I don't care. It could, whenever you want to roll that in the show. <laughs> God, Listen, you guys are the best. Bob, this is, Bob is going to aspire to this now. See, cause Bob, I think you could do this. I think I could. I, I think with practice you could do that. Swang, swang. And then I will start calling you swang. <laughs> the question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> The, um, pardon me. I don't know, I'm just My apologies. Run and die. <laughs> the I love how the baby's all waiting for the ride to go in reverse. <laughs> North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. Now to the story of a pig that is inspiring others. One pop. <laughs> One pot-bellied pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his tongue. <laughs> oh. yeah, you have to read this story. His laugh is weird. <laughs> 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 we cannot. Oh my god. What person put these clips together and said, hey, we'll throw some <laughs> Russian in there and some Slavic or whatever? <laughs> Well, at least they're having a good time. They're having a great time. <laughs> now we don't know what was said. That's horrible. Damn it. Sorry. He's three again. <laughs> I clearly just had a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening at that music. <laughs> All right. Okay. It must be the morning crew. They're delusional. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. 83 degrees. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 67 in. We're going to see the up temperatures in the up. Well, more bodily functions in the news this morning. The next time you pass gas, make sure no police are around. A man in West Virginia faces assault charges after police say he passed gas in Vienna. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't laugh. Oh. <laughs> after the man was already arrested for DUI, according to police reports. <laughs> <Assault. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> he passed the gas so loudly the officer said it was quote, smell very odorous and he felt and just created compelled to charge. Created <laughs> contact. Like, I'm not letting this guy get away with that shit. Literally. Like, have you ever worried, wondered if you've had bad gas? That okay. would be a marker if a cop has charged you with right. assault. Right. No, that would that'd be next level. <laughs> insulting or provoking nature Mr. Anchorman. see that wasn't even right that was to put that chipotle trying to help you be a better you out there okay new bowls. it's got new bowls that accommodates popular diets there's a keto bowl paleo bowl whole 30 diet bowls they all have big rules about what you can eat oh you mean those like the tortillas that they make when you order a bowl and our burrito is that what you're talking about no, you can get a bowl at chipotle just in a little bowl and the certain ingredients go to a certain <laughs> diet. How do you not know this? I mean, I do, but I'm so confused about what you're talking about right now. They're offering paleo diet friendly bowls. It has nothing to do with burritos. <laughs> it's the stuff that's inside. But why would you eat them bowl? You don't eat them. <laughs> oh my God. When you have 
you have cereal, do you eat the bowl as well? <laughs> it's not, it's cereal or not. It's, what's in the, it's the ingredients. Oh my gosh. Do you eat the bowl as well? <laughs> He chicken, just let her have chicken, it. That was great. The lettuce, those things. <laughs> she doesn't get it, I don't think. What's our weather? <laughs> this Christmas decorations nearly caused one man a heart attack. Listen, please hold on. All right. Can you reach it? What a good Can guy. Can you reach it? What a good person, though, huh? The man in Austin, Texas <laughs> thought this dummy was a real person. <laughs> Oh. Nest cam video shows the man it's, uh, rush over, it's good Griswold. Right. grab a ladder, and call for help. He even called 911. The family, and the the family the put up <laughs> the a to pay homage to a, a, a Christmas scene from uh, from a movie right there. The Griswolds, you know, right? You know, Christmas vacation. And uh, they are trying to find the man to give him a gift because they say <laughs> it, his heart was in the right place. Now, he felt it. Oh, he no. Felt, he, said, he, said, he said, can you reach it? Can you reach it? <laughs> a good Samaritan there. It's making me cry, my goodness. <laughs> you, you want him around if you were stuck on the roof one day. Can you reach it? All right, well, we are... Hoping He's to reach temperatures like back. we He's saw yesterday. It was nice and warm spring like yesterday. Let's check in with meteorologist Karen Mitchell in the Severe Weather Center. Too, Karen. This is All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. Today is National Milk Day, a day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. Milk, yeah, come with me to describe. The script says to describe You don't think they get called into the office after this? So here we go. <laughs> milk can you hear them in the background? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Baking. A beverage. <laughs> you can just drink it. Oh my god. <laughs> According to the encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> Are they serious with this? Oh my, oh my god. Milk used to be pasteurized. It started in 1860. A French chemist and biologist, Louis Pasteur. <laughs> and, don't, well. and don't worry if you can't celebrate. <laughs> you got another chance in six months because that's world milk day. <laughs> <laughs> the scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but <laughs> had no intention of causing a panic. And also told police others in the room laughed understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. Oh, oh goodness. Bo says they will not be pressing charges. But I can tell you right now, you asked the producer for me to read that thing there. <laughs> <laughs> to Ethan now, please. No. <laughs> we could have to go to a commercial. No, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Thanks to blow it up. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we can do this. <clears throat> All right, uh, turning now to an impassioned plea in a string of thefts. Uh, police are searching for several thieves believed to have stolen a 400 year old bonsai tree. <laughs> the missing tree seen here wow. sta <laughs> 400 years old. stands about three feet uh, tall and two and a half feet wide. <laughs> <laughs> with more than 400 points and branches it is it is, it is <laughs> oh man it is green with a brownish curved trunk that tilts a bit to the side so you can see the, <laughs> the the owners of the tree fifth generation you know i was like earlier the guy gets ticketed for his gas <laughs> this guy gets the <laughs> Bomb squad called on him for his poop. That's great. That is just. Bonsai masters would like to send a message uh, to the tree. Quote, are you at least getting enough water? 
end quote. Yeah. The owners say they've raised this tree as their own child and they are desperate to have it home. Oh, that's awful. It's estimated to be worth about $90,000. Wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's just great that someone called the Which one was your favorite video? That one for sure. Because <laughs> she read it so sincerely and then got what was going on. Yeah. And it just, the, com <laughs> the comedic value. Of someone being like, y'all gotta get out of here because I'm fixing to blow this up. And they're just like, we need to call the legit bomb squad. That's yeah. who we need to call. What in the world? <laughs> My favorite one was the the cat. Yeah. I know there are several cat ones, but the one that was there when was seen a bobcat. No, yeah, they were seen a, a, cougar. a cougar. And it was a little house cat all. <laughs> just staring. <laughs> it's like these guys are idiots. That was funny. Yeah. Well, tell us which one was your favorite down in the comments. And also, if you'd like to suggest a video for us to watch coming up for Halloween, we're going to be reviewing some scary videos. So if there's something you want us to review, leave it in the comments. And that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.